to the channel. I know it's been a while since our last video. The silly hats are back and I've grown a goatee beard. Anyway, we're back. And today's video is about this reversing camera. This is this camera Claire bought for me about 18 months ago when I bought the... Well, it's nearly two years now since I bought this Freelander 2 Land Rover. Um, top spec car, but it didn't come with a reverse camera. So she bought me this one and it sat in a drawer gathering dust because I've been so afraid to fit it. And I recently saw a video by the Caravan Nut and to be honest with you, it wasn't really that difficult to fit. Um, I also got talking to a fella called James on the Caravan Helper group on Facebook, link in the description if you fancy joining us, um, saying that he's bought a camera and he hasn't fitted it yet because he's a bit worried about the fitting. Well, I was really worried about fitting it, um, but as I'll show you now, it's not really that difficult and it's nothing really to worry about, so hopefully at the end, end of this video you'll feel a lot more confident about fitting it. Right, so once you've unpacked, this is what we got in the kit with the Autovox M1 reversing camera. We got the screen, the screen mount, the wire that comes all the way from your camera that goes into the back of the car. You've got the rear view camera itself, and you've got a wire coming from that. They join together. There's two wires. One attaches to your live feed to your rear reverse light, and then the other wire, you have to earth it to the car at one of the earthing points in the rear of your car. So once you've mounted your screen on your mount and then onto your windscreen, you want to then take a bit of time out to think about where you're going to run this wire through. And I'll, I'll, I'll come on to where, where I've wired mine to. So you need to plan ahead. You want to look at all the trim and where you can hide the wire. In my case, I was quite lucky. And you'll see as we progress in this video. I was able to hide my wire in, in the rubber trim that goes all the way around this door, this door area here, which we'll go on to right now. Right, so there's the screen, using the screen mount, wire coming out, and as you can see there's a piece of tape from when I fitted the dash cam, as you probably may have, if you're familiar with our channel, that fitting the dash cam. So I've just gone into the same bit of rubber as I did with the dash cam, all behind that trim all the way around and then on the inside I tucked it in behind the airbag and then followed the rubber trim again so if I move around to the back so it's behind this rubber trim again luckily I managed to get it to go under there under the seat and then into the boot so if I move around to the back of the car goes underneath the floor of the car sorry it's so mucky I haven't had a chance to clean it yet I couldn't lift this trim and I couldn't get underneath it so I've ended up having to just bring the wire out there back round there you join the I've managed to get it under the headlining and out through this hole here I'm, I had to put a little nick in the rubber there so this is why we, I said about planning you have to figure your route out and then do things like this just just so you can get the wires through i couldn't get this rubber back in with these wires sticking out so i had to cut a little cut a little nick in it there so this wire is your rear view camera which goes inside i had to take all this light like the window lining out so i had to take all that off so the wire goes through there all the way around this had to come off as well this trim feed it through the inside till it comes out there where my reg plate lights are i had to drill a little hole for the wire to come through i don't know whether you'll pick that up on the camera but and then there's your rear view camera it comes with sticky on both sides 3m tape on both sides you can adjust this up and down I really wanted it to point at the tow bar, but unfortunately I couldn't position it because of the lip on a Land Rover. I couldn't get it to point down at the tow bar. So I've had to just compromise and just have it pointing at the back of the car and you use your reversing lines to, to reverse. And you can just use the lines to get pretty much in the right position for your tow bar 
up to your caravan anyway so I suppose in a way it'll work just as well so coming back inside the car you've got these other two wires one needs to be attached to your rear light your rear reverse light I should say so all I did was undo, undone those two screws and as you can see the red wire comes out there so that's fed round that's this rubber as well so once you've figured out which is your live feed to your reverse light you just cut that wire join them together you do get these little red plastic clips but we bend them in the end they weren't working so we just cut the wire joined them together and taped it up quite well so as you can see the red wire back through there and then the other wire is a black earth wire which I've just taped it there and we've earthed it to that earthing point just there so if we go back into the car I'll show you it working I'll just show you putting it into reverse and there you go the screen comes on and you get the two white line, uh, the two lines for your parking obviously your green's safe amber you're getting closer and the red is the warning area that you're getting really close so all I'm going to do now I'll turn that off again all I'm going to do now is clear I'll stand at the side of the car I'll use the lines to line myself up to the caravan and Claire will let me know when my tow ball is underneath the Alco hitch. So it, it'll work almost as good as what I intended it to do. It's just a pity that I just couldn't position the camera anywhere because you'll get some malicious person they'll just snap it off if they see it. Whereas it's hidden un underneath the handle area so you can't really see it. So it's not bad at all it was easy to fit at the end of the day with the help of the caravan nut and his video uh, it wasn't as difficult as i first feared so to recap mount the screen to your windscreen using the mount plan a route for your cables along the full length of your car plug your connectors in the two wires that come off the main wire one is connected to your reverse light which you may need to seek help on just like I did I got the help of my stepdad um, who helped me with the wiring because Jaguar Land Rover their wiring on the back of the car in the, in the light cluster was totally different to what is the norm but anyway we figured it out in the end we cut into the wire joined the red one which was the live feed taped them together really well and then the black one we earthed to one of the earthing points around the, the back door. Tested it, came on, so then we tucked all our wires in once we tested it. I shouldn't really have said that at the beginning, but first thing you should do is test it before tucking all your wires in. Once, it, once you know it was working, that's when I tucked all the wires in. So there you go, as you can see, after nearly two years of having it sat in the corner gathering dust, it was really easy to fit. The only difficult part were the two wires one needed to, to be attached to the wiring for the reverse light, which I had to get a little bit of help from my stepdad. Um, when we figured out Jaguar Land Rover's wiring, cut it in, in half, attached the wires together, taped it all up, and the other black wire we put to the earthing point around the back window, tested it, tucked all the wires in, happy days, job done. All works perfectly fine and can't wait to, to use it in our caravan in next year. So if you found this uh, video useful, give us a thumbs up, consider hitting subscribe, hit the bell icon for future uploads. Thank you so much for watching, until next time, ta -ra.